I'm joined now by Texas Lieutenant Governor and Dan, Dan Patrick, as well as New York Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Uh, thanks so much for joining the program. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, I'll start with you first. One thing that annoyed me and I was there, and by the way, I'm so proud of our men and women in the Texas DPS. They're truly the last line of defense uh, for America right now. But I, I saw this image, and if the producers can put it up, this is not the right way to come in this country, but they were taking selfies and videos in the Welcome, Welcome to America sign. Now, they didn't come here at a port of entry. They didn't take the citizenship test or anything, Lieutenant Governor. But this is, with the cell phones that our government provides them, they're taking selfies. So, Lawrence, first of all, our DPS and our National Guard and our sheriffs and our law enforcement across the border, they are doing a tremendous job. We're exhausting them. We're exhausting our resources. Uh, I just passed a budget uh, a few weeks ago that has $4 billion of Texas taxpayer money into it just for the border. When Trump was president, it was $400 million. So we've had to uh, take it up ten tenfold. And we are doing a terrific job right now. We are repelling and people are returning to the other side, but they keep coming in waves. Mm -hmm. So the numbers have been down a little bit today because they know Texas means business. We have barbed wire, call it concertina wire, whatever you want to call it, on the banks everywhere. We keep deploying more. We're filling every gap. We want to force everyone coming here illegally to come across those points of entry on the bridges. We don't want them in between, and we're going to all the hot spots. Our people are doing a tremendous job. But this president is selling out this country, Lawrence, selling out the American people. And all of your guests I heard on the, on the video package there before said it. He doesn't care that women and children are being sex trafficked. He doesn't care that fentanyl is coming over the border. He doesn't care that terrorists and criminals are coming across the border illegally. Uh, this president is a puppet is to the left. The reason they got Joe Biden to be their nominee, they needed someone they could control because he's not even clear thinking enough to understand what's going on. And Mayorkas is a damn liar. Yeah, he is. Uh, Congresswoman, uh, th this is no longer just a Texas problem. Uh, get ready for the mass release. I was talking to the Border Patrol, and they say 60% of the people that come across the border, they're just releasing them. They only deport 40%. So th they're coming back to New York, and it's not just the buses that the governor of Texas is sending. They're going to be coming. Yeah, look, Lawrence, uh, kudos to Texas and their great leadership with the governor and the lieutenant governor that are actually doing something about the border. We see in New York, Governor Kathy Hochul put out a billion dollars in new taxes to take care of people who are illegal immigrants and for those people to be cared for. And that's going to those are even higher taxes. And we're one of the highest tax states in the nation. But really, when you talk about compassion, that question that was answered, look at what's happening in New York's northern border. Everyone forgets we've got this massive northern border and the rules have been changed. The cartels are controlling the border and the northern border as well. They're getting illegal immigrants into uh, Canada. They come in. There's no visa requirement. They get to the border. The cartels get them into New York. Kathy Hochul allows them to be issued driver's licenses. And they can virtually go anywhere in the world and anywhere in the country. And they can go wherever they need to go. And we're going to provide them with all the taxpayer-funded uh, uh, needs that they have, whether it's food, housing, uh, health care, you name it, all over the, the uh, you heard, the, illegal, the illegals are now displacing uh, homeless veterans in New York City. And when you talk about compassion, I want to come back to when this northern border problem has been increasing by 800 percent, just after I left my full day meeting with the northern border agents, they had four people die in a swamp right on the, in the Quebec border. And they were children. Two of them were children. And this is not compassionate. And this is human trafficking, fentanyl up 25 percent, killing our children every single day. And this is this is what you get. And, yep. and, the, and the Democrats run everything in New York, including the Democratic governor. Mm -hmm. And they keep encouraging people to come in. And, well, and you're gonna, you see they, these upstate counties bracing for this. Congresswoman, you're exactly right. They, they know what they're doing. They just don't care. Lieutenant Governor, Congresswoman, thanks so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.